All right, it, it was looking like uh, the rain was going to leave me, but we just got another big burst. So, but it looks like it's only going to be around for a couple minutes, so it's going to clear up. Right now, I feel like a duck. But this uh, next sh shrimp piece I'm putting it on is a lot smaller. It's going to be right on the barb, smaller target for them. And what I've noticed so far, I'm trying to look for patterns. That's what you should always try and do when you're fishing. So basically the sandbar is about 25 yards out. And um, what I've noticed is once I'm pulling it off that sandbar and it is, um, it, it gets introduced into the trough, that's where they're hitting. That's what I call the sweet spot because that's where the fish just run up and down that trough. Uh, I'm sorry I have the hat over the phone. I'm trying not to damage the phone, but uh, in a couple minutes, I might be able to put my hat back on my head and you get a better view. I apologize, but just trying to protect the phone. Thank you. What, you're not probably going to be able to see it too well. I'm going to try and uh, move this way. Or actually, let me turn this, pan, this handle here a little bit. What I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and... It, the rain feels like it's stopping, so if you bear with me, we, we, we might have something here. I'm going to uh, just... I'm going to cast parallel to the shore uh, for the next couple casts. Um, I only have one more shrimp that's stalled out, so bear with me.
All right, folks, we got a nice fish here. When I say nice, it's a, a highly sought after species. It's out of season. It did swallow the hook pretty far down. I do have um, my needle nose pliers. This is a snook fish. He's probably gonna end up bloodied, unfortunately. That's a snook right there. I gotta get this hook out. I feel sorry for this fellow. He gave me a heck of a fight. I don't think you guys got to see much of it, but that old saying, the tug is the drug. How are you, sir? Like you're doing good. Well, I've got three so far. There we go. All right. There's proof right there. G Money Three, Sunfish King Zero. The rain is easing up. Uh, once I know it has completely completely stopped, I'm gonna put the hat back on my head and let you guys have better uh, visibility. I apologize for that. Yeah, I got a safe release on the snook. Swam away nicely. And um, he was hooked right in his tongue. And th therefore there ended up not being any uh, any blood or anything, but he's gonna be okay. And we just got another uh, little burst of rain, so hang tight. We'll get some good footage here shortly.
All right, I just want to let you know that the rain has not stopped. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to stop for now because basically you can't see crap with the hat on the top of the phone. And uh, I'm just going to try and show you something. I, I'm using a, a new combo I have. It's a Tsunami Citadel. It's, it retails for like $35. This was out of my uh, fishing collection, my batch. Uh, I'm going to kind of tell you uh, a couple things I did wrong. It, I've, I've got a couple, little bit of a bird's nest in here. I kept fishing with it just to try and give you guys some footage. But what I should have done is sometimes when these come spooled from the manufacturer, the, the, the line is too far out. There's too much on here. And that can create some, uh, like, wind knots or air knots, whatever you want to call that. So that that's what happened. I should have probably removed, I don't know, at least 25 yards off of this, if not maybe a little bit more. And I did not do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm paying the price right now because I'm going to have to, uh, you know, remove the jig head, pull, you know, get the air knot out. And it, it's pretty, pretty well tangled. But um, that's just stupidity on my part. And another uh, reason, sometimes you can get air knots. If your, your lure or your, your rig or whatever, if it's kind of light, it's not going to keep a lot of tension on the line. So that's how you're going to get some of those air knots. But um, I'm going to call it, a, call it the morning here. Um, I'm going to go uh, re-rig this. And then um, we might go try and film another episode here soon. Um, down under one of the bridges or something like that but and that way if it does rain at least you know we're protected out you know the phone's not going to get damaged but all right thanks folks i'll talk to you soon